Good day, everyone. Um, so this is a Tamiya CC01, the Unimog body, with a couple of upgrades, most notably the steering system. Um, if you are here looking at this video, I'm guessing that you have one of these and you're trying to figure out how to fix your steering. So this seems to be a common issue with these chassis. The CC01 is the steering. Uh, not only does it have a very small turning circle, sorry, a very large turning circle, um, it's also not very reliable. Um, the original steering that I had on here broke like two or three times i don't know if it was originally it wasn't designed to work a lot it was more the type of uh, radio control toy that someone would buy their child play with it five or ten times and then it would lay in a cupboard and get old um, so the design on the steering wasn't done very well um, if you hear you know that that's why you were searching for this video and yes there's another 50 videos that you can see on YouTube um, on steering modifications and mine is nothing new or revolutionary or groundbreaking I just thought I'd show you guys what I did um, so a couple of things that I've changed on this chassis that made it considerably better is obviously the steering um, I've moved the servo to the front of the chassis uh, from the original position. Um, I've made my own steering links to be able to turn the steering a little bit further. Um, if you watch some of the other videos, you will see that on these turn buckles inside here, uh, if I can just get that in view there inside here, there's a little pin that you break off um, that'll help you turn the wheels a little bit further. You will notice that this is turned around. This used to be in the back. I've turned these knuckles around um, to get the steering arm to the front. Um, this servo I've remounted to the front, uh, used to be over here the traditional position for the servo um, I've changed that obviously I had to to mount it on the front um, I've had to cut into the body um, over there and made two brackets that I have bolt on to the outside going into the inside to mount the servo um, over there so I've only put two screws on uh, on the servo I feel that's enough I've made provision for four screws um, at a later stage should these brackets get damaged or stripped I uh, made them from aluminium so Chances are if I over torque them over torque the screws or whatever I will strip the thread in there and I'll have to redo them So I just made the extra holes for in case um, So I've moved the steering I've moved the servo to the front something else that I did as well is I've put larger wheels on well not larger wheels just larger tires so these are the original rims that uh, came with the car. Uh, the tires, however, the original tires are a 90 millimeter. So it's from about there to there. These tires are considerably bigger. They're 110 millimeters. Um, the reason for this was ground clearance. I found that with the original tires, it was considerably lower to the ground. Um, I'd say from where this turn buckle is at the bottom of the ground over there for example I'd say it was round about over there so I've gained well almost a hundred percent of my ground clearance that I used to have um, 
with these tires putting bigger tires obviously presented a challenge of their own um, with turning the uh, tires would catch on the body that was over here that I had to cut away so originally I cut the body away uh, for the tires uh, later on turned out that I um, had to cut even more away to get the steering installed and working properly um, so with the modification on the steering I had to move the shocks uh, these are the original holes for the shock mounts um, I literally just took it to the back I drilled two holes into the plastic and re-screwed them um, I had to swap the steering mounts at the top I uh, don't know if you can see them uh, it's over there video is a little bit dark guys sorry um, over there it's a little bit difficult to see um, I literally just swapped the left and right side around uh, to change the shock positioning from the front to the back um, the dog bones the drive shaft everything still stock didn't have to do anything there um, so with changing the steering I got more angle out of the wheels um, with the bigger tires that was even more of an issue with touching the sides of the body um, so my solution to that was wheel spacers if you can see them probably not well it's a 20 millimeter wheel spacer in there to push the wheels out uh, from the original position so originally these arches would flare out to about over here so obviously when the chassis went down the um, wheels would touch uh, on the inside so I had to cut that off and even though that solved this issue the issue was still with turning touching the, the chassis so I had to cut that away as well and put the wheel spacers to give me more turning ability with the steering. Um, and that's about it. Those are the upgrades that I, well, not really upgrades, but the modifications that I made. Um, so the second challenge or not second challenge, the next challenge I had uh, with the bigger wheels and the better turning circle is the body so I had to raise the body quite a bit um, when you get to this point of suspension actuation uh, especially with the wheels turning it touches the body um, which is not really the end of the world um, I just I prefer not to cut into the body uh, I prefer to just raise the body a little bit so that that problem is solved so how I did that uh, was actually quite simple I uh, thought it might have been a bit more complicated than this I basically removed the uh, body posts and I put two screws in on each side over here through the original body post bracket I uh, just drilled holes into the bottom of the body post which was already there for the original screws um, the original screws are just considerably thinner than this so I just re-drilled and I screwed these uh, screws through the bracket and just attached these onto the screws they literally just screw in and out of there and that seems to work really really well as well um, and that's it guys I I'm quite happy with it I've been playing around with it a little bit um, steering works really well um, I have not had any hang-ups um, I've been doing a little bit of driving around in my backyard over rocks and pavement and all that climbing 
and ascending and descending and it's considerably better um, not just for ground clearance but also for approaching angle so you will see that I did the block modification I've cut the front off here um, where the bumper mounts onto the bumper itself is also an issue I mean with the body on here the bumper sticks out quite far uh, in front of the body which was also an issue um, for approaching angle I mean I could hardly ever get onto any steep incline um, if you look at the side of the body the bumper would push out to about over here where the tip of this green staff is and I mean from having a approaching angle that would pretty much end over there I've now got a approach angle over here which is very close to the wheels so usually it would be over there I'd get stuck on whatever I was trying to climb and you know I wouldn't be able to go any further but with this it would um, the wheels are now much closer to whatever it is that I want to climb on so I am going to put a, a bumper back um, I would like to just put something here to protect the body a little bit uh, from what I have been driving around and climbing and going up and down so far I have not hooked the body actually um, I've been very surprised I thought I would have but um, I think with the body raised this much and with the ground clearance that I've got um, there's not it's not hooking on anything um, so I'll take it out onto trails and see what happens um, I might just put a skid plate here to cover all this up just to make it look neat an aluminium skid plate um, the next project that I'm going to do that is going to be you know this is scale crawling so you can see obviously now everything is open so the body used to come to round about over here and covered all of this up everything is now exposed the ESC, the motor, and the electronics, so everything is basically visible. Um, so I'll just have some plastic sheeting and I'll just attach it on here, close it all up nicely, um, you know, just to make it look neat and tidy. But yes, that was basically what I've done so far. Um, on a side note, I'm really loving these tires. They the BF Goodrich uh, Crawler TAs. Really sticky tires, really soft. Um, as you can see here, if I just lift the one back wheel, you get a proper flex on the tire. Um, I must say I'm really loving them compared to the original Tamiya tires that come with this um, I think they're called rock block something like that they are super hard even if you buy the soft rock blocks um, if that is what they call them I'm not sure they are still hard I mean the, their soft tires do not have foam in them and they are hard they hardly flex over anything um, I'm very very happy with the mod, very happy with how it's climbing, the tires are good, ground clearance is good, turning circle is much better. Thank you guys for watching, uh, give it a like, give it a share, uh, if there's anything you'd like to know on how I did what, uh, just drop me a comment and I'll get back to you. Cheers guys.